Okay, welcome back. I've been using a HP Chromebook X2 since May 2020 because I've been using before that iPads. My last one, it, the screen just got too broken and everything and to replace it was, you might as well buy a new one. So I thought, let's look at alternatives because one beef I had with the iPad is it's okay to use things inside its own little system but if you want to go out into the big wide world, uh, it makes compatibility very difficult. They don't like it. Whereas this sort of thing, you can stick all sorts of dongles and USBs and all sorts of things in this and it says, fine, no worries. Yeah, I thought I'd give the iPad world the flick, try something different. Now, this looks like a laptop and you think, oh, what's it doing, running Windows or something? No, this is a Chromebook. It runs on the chrome operating system and it does a lot of things directly over the internet so it is best if you're you know in a place where you can access the internet and nowadays i mean i work from home i work from work and i'm connected by wi-fi just about everywhere i go i can access files i can do all sorts of things with this seamlessly and it yeah it looks like a laptop but it's not it's actually a tablet with a detachable keyboard now there's pros and cons I've found with this over the months I've been using it and it gets heavy use. I use this every day at work and at home. I use it for work and for my own pleasure. So this uh, has to do basically everything. I do have my iMac here which I use for heavy duty stuff. 90% of the things I do I can do on this Chromebook. Now does that mean it won't do that 10%? It can but there are some things I find it easy to use on my iMac than on this one here. So when I was going to buy one of these, I looked at reviews and most of them said, oh, it's great for everything unless you wanted to do photos and video. And that's about my main stuff, photos and video. I thought, well, is this going to be useless? Turns out, no, this will do photos and video. You might scoff, but this thing runs PowerDirector for video without a hiccup. For photos, you can get so much software that will edit photos on these things for all those people who think oh they're okay until you actually want to do something serious well no you can do something serious on this basically there's some things i find easy easier to do on my imac but you can still do them on this now its size is fantastic i mean if you think this is a laptop yeah it's okay size but if you think of it as a tablet then it's big it looks like a laptop but it's not it's actually a tablet with a keyboard attached and it's detachable i didn't just break it it's held on with magnets so now i can use a tablet on its own and it's a pretty big tablet or i can reconnect it to the keyboard there you go keyboard's back and uh, now i can use it like a little laptop and it's got a touchpad but also touch screen and you can use a stylus pen on it, which comes with it. So all those are good things. And of course, being a Chromebook, uh, it just updates the software automatically all the time. This thing just keeps up with the latest developments, uploads and installs them all. So I'm always on top of the game. Now it's a bit worried too, a, a white surface. This is gonna look pretty tacky in a short time, but it's incredible. They should make cars out of this stuff. I've never had to actually try hard to clean it. You just wipe it occasionally and it's kept the finish really well. It looks superb even after all this time. I use this all day every day. It goes to work with me, I use it at work, I use it at home. It gets a lot of use. They're all the plus sides. If I ever had to replace it I would look for something like this. Again the biggest downside I've had with it so far is the stylus. It comes with a stylus and it worked great for a while and then it sort of fell apart and trying to put it all back together, uh, it was just not quality made. It was difficult to get back together. In the end, I, I couldn't. Stylus was broken, no more stylus. Okay, so I've been using it for probably four months without a stylus, you can do it. But the stylus was nice. Trying to get a replacement. There's more than one type of stylus out there for HPs, depending on what model. And some of them won't work on this. HP aren't very forthcoming in answering people's questions because I'm not the only one who's had this trouble. I've been onto their support forums, people have been asking this question, getting ignored. So HP, 
bad move. Pull your socks up. This is a great little device. It needs better support. I need another stylus. Now I'm going to have to take a chance. I'm going to spend 50 to 60 dollars hoping that it will work on this and not some ThinkPad or ThinkPad or whatever they're called nowadays and not on this. So yeah okay I'm going to have to spend money and it might not work. If it does, great. Pity I had to spend money but I don't know if it's going to work because there's so much misinformation out there and HP aren't answering people's questions. HP, great device, lousy service. Okay I'll go on record for that. So that's my little rant about the downside. There is so little downside to this device. It's well thought out, it's well made, this device, the stylus wasn't. And I'd get another one. The uh, HP Chromebook X2 pulls apart. I mean, apart from pulling apart like that, you can also turn it around, put it back on backwards, and it folds down flat like that. Okay, so uh, you don't actually have to have a separate keyboard you can put it all back together again and use it as a tablet so sort of reversible um, great idea I pull it apart and use it as a tablet and then put it back together again every day numerous times every day and I have been doing since I bought it there's no weak spots here it's really well done kudos to HP great device get a better stylus so there you go if you want one I recommend them and no affiliate links not paid they don't even know who I am so I've got no connections with HP, I just have been using this as a replacement to the iPad and I wouldn't go back to an iPad. That's my user review. You can get full specs and everything on the internet, prices, depending on where you are, what country you're in. But um, yeah, if you are looking for something like this, then this could be exactly what you need. Oh yeah, the camera. It's got a camera on it of course and you can video yourself and face stream or whatever you call it. I often use this for uh, Zoom type things uh, during these COVID times. Zoom's gone through the roof. Zoom a lot on this. It all works. For taking photos, it works, the camera. I'm probably spoiled. I'm a photographer. I've got six great cameras over there with all sorts of lenses. Uh, and this thing, okay, the lens is only a couple of more wide. You I can't expect this to actually take a good photo. It takes a photo. That's all I'll say. If you want one, get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Alright? Cheers.